Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. In this short video, I'll show you guys a few note-taking applications for your meetings, lectures, or simply to jot down what's on your mind. Notes up. This one is my favorite. It's basically a markdown editor with support for notebooks with colors and, in each notebook, any number of pages. You can write with markdown syntax or use the toolbar up top to shape up your notes and add images, links or lists. It has an edit mode and a view mode, one to write and the other one to preview your work. If you're just looking to use it to take notes, you can stick to the edit mode all the time. The preferences only allow you to change the style sheet, font size and family, and turn on a few options such as spell checking, line numbers or automatic indentation. NotesUp is available in the App Center for free. Day Journal Want to start writing a journal, or maybe keep your notes organized by day with a calendar? Day Journal has you covered. It's available in the App Center for an asking price of $1, but as always, you can choose the amount you'd like to give the developer, from $0 to as much as you like. Day Journal has a very simple interface with a calendar on the right and a text editor on the left. You can only add images to these notes. Day Journal stores all notes in a simple directory system as plain text files, which means you can edit them with any other app and you could switch to other programs if you ever wanted to. PS Notes You like the concept of Notes Up, but you'd like to have a simpler, more streamlined tool? PS Notes works like a charm. Just start writing your first note and everything will be saved automatically. To create a new note, just click the plus button and start writing. All your notes will end up in the sidebar and you can search them. PS Notes can handle TXT files or Markdown if you prefer that. You can also choose the font, but that's about it. PS Notes is available from the App Center with a recommended price of $1. Note Jot. This one is more of a sticky notes application. It just opens a simple yellow note on your desktop that you can fill to your liking. You can only choose its color and title or choose to delete it. Note Jot can come in handy to take a few quick words which would have no place in a more complete note-taking application. It's available for free from the App Center. Tusk. Are you an Evernote user? If you'd like to get that desktop app feeling, why don't you try Tusk? It's a wrapper for the Evernote web client with a few more features on top, such as dark themes, keyboard shortcuts, a focus mode, a compact mode, or even an automatic night mode. If that seems awesome to you, you can install it via snap, via the command snap install task. To make that work, you'll need to install Snaptastic first. Check out our video on snaps and flatpacks up there for detailed instructions. Notes. This one is the default GNOME note-taking app. It does look compliant with elementary OS guidelines and allows you to create sticky notes stored in one place. You can change their color, view them via miniatures or lists, and search through your notes. If you want a very simple note-taking solution like NoteJot or Google Keep, and you don't want too many features, this one should do the trick for you. It's available for free in the App Center. Tomboy. This one is old. I used it a lot more than 10 years ago when I first tried my hand at Ubuntu 6.06. .06. It works with a wiki-like system, allowing you to reference other notes via links. It still looks pretty good today, with a nice big list of text formatting options and the ability to create a new note easily just by selecting some text. These notes can be searched and can be used to create a full mind map or just your own knowledge base. It can also export your notes to HTML and you can use an external cloud service to sync them with your Android smartphone with the TomDroid app. So there you go guys, our little tour of note-taking apps for elementary OS ends here. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.